Good evening, GooTube. Before we start, I just need to make this legal disclaimer that any illegal distribution or publishing in any form on web, print, etc. without consent will result in legal action. And that goes for all news outlets, printed papers, and magazines. For any business inquiries, my email can be found below. Ah, uh, I hate that kind of beef. I'm a vegetarian. But anyway. Unfortunately, the final filming day had to arrive. Welcome to the filed coast weather. It never knows what it wants to do. Sunny, pissing it down, sharp, cold, warm. The production team, actors, extras, etc. They had a lot to deal with yesterday. They did a good job. I'm not going to talk too much of this, I'm just going to let you enjoy the pictures. Before we get into the good stuff, I'd just like to say thank you so much to Disney, Lucasfilm and all the production team that were involved in bringing Star Wars here. It's been super appreciated. And I'm sure I'm speaking on behalf of all the residents. Cheers. And I'm going to leave you here with what seems to be fan favourite at the moment, the Shore Troopers. Enjoy. These boys don't mess about. As soon as there was a break in the clouds and the rain and the sun came out, these guys were Linford Christie hurdling over the promenade barrier. If you check out my first episode on the walkthrough of the location predictions, this is one of the places that I predicted they'd come. It's so interesting to see what they do with the green screens here. I've never seen a set this close up so this is all new to me but I knew they were going to come here so you can call me Mystic Meg all these little kiosks kind of looks like Cleveley's in a different dimension or something I think the design team absolutely nailed it what do you think? It's already weird seeing the promenade empty. All gone. All this here, it's all gone. And everything's returning back to normal. Pretty bummed out. A good friend of mine from Cleveland is actually an actor in Hollywood and once he got wind that Star Wars was here, he was pretty pissed. I said to him, should have stayed in Cleveland's mate, aka Cleverly Hills. Watch out Hollywood, this is Clevesy Wood. me old pal Diego Luna. All right, bud. How's it going? Yeah, he's probably sick of me now. I'm no paparazzi. And uh, to be honest, it's not a great feeling sniping people. But hey, once in a lifetime, eh? 
So the weather turned again, check it out. Rougher than a badger's ass. But filming must go on, right? I still have to pinch myself. I just can't believe the promenade I walk on every day. It's a film set for a Star Wars series. I'm certainly not starstruck. Location struck, maybe. And that, my friends, is a wrap. They finished off the final scene, packed up, and the show was about to leave Cleveland's. But it doesn't end there, as I bumped into a special guest. This, my friends, is John Sorensen. And if you're not aware of his work, a simple IMBD or Google will reveal his involvement in the film industry. He's responsible for the visual effects on Alien, Moonraker, The Watcher in the Woods, Flash Gordon, Time Bandits, The Dark Crystal, Superman 2, Empire Strikes Back. Anyway, the list is long, long, long. So I invited him back to my house. We had a cup of tea and I've organised a podcast interview with him in a couple of weeks time please consider checking out my episode one and two which is in my playlist on my youtube channel for a location set walkthrough uh, with narrative it's pretty popular so must be doing good so go and check it out and stay tuned for the final episode in three-part series which will be out early next week peace Please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell for updates that'll be happening over the next couple of days. All Star Wars related, of course.